Hey, hey, it's Around here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to sync your Google Calendar with your Outlook Calendar app. Now, I'm really fortunate because I have an amazing tech support team that work for me, and I'm going to turn it over to my virtual assistant who's actually going to share her screen and show you how it's done. Hi, everyone. Rose here. This is how to sync your Google Calendar to your Outlook email and calendar app. If you are using your Outlook application for managing your emails and calendar, this is for you. On this tutorial, our main goal is for your Google Calendar to show in your Outlook calendar. So our first step is for you to open your Google Calendar. All you need to do is add a new tab or open your browser and then go ahead and type in calendar.google.com. Go ahead and hit enter. Now that you're on this page, make sure that you have the right Google account. If you have multiple, go ahead and click this little profile here and select the right one. Now that you're in the right Google Calendar account, on the sidebar, you'll find My Calendars and Other Calendars. If you want to add your personal calendar, then go ahead and click your name or hover your mouse on your name under My Calendars, and it should show you this three dots here on the side of your name. That is for options. Click that and then also click settings and sharing. It will now show all the settings that are available for you. And what you want to do next is scroll down all the way to integrate calendar. That's this section here. Or on the side, you'll find integrate calendars as well. So that's another way. Under Integrate Calendar, it will give you different URLs or web links, which will let you share this calendar to a different website or a different application. So you have here a public URL for Google Calendar users. You have your embed code. You also have a public address in iCal format. And then you have the secret address in iCal format. So what we need from here is the secret address in iCal format. And your next step is to go ahead and click this copy to clipboard uh, button. That's this icon right here. Just click that and it should copy the whole link inside of it. If you want to check the link itself, since it's encrypted, go ahead and click the I button here to unhide it. As you can see, there is a whole URL or web address inside the secret address. So since you already copy our secret address, go ahead and open your Outlook app. And by default, it'll go straight to your inbox. But what we need is the calendar itself. So just click the calendar button here on the side. And then on the options above, go to manage calendars, click open calendar, and then click from internet. It will now give you a space to paste the link that we just copied earlier. So go ahead and paste it. Or you can, instead of your keyboard, you can just right click and then click paste. And then go ahead and hit OK. And now it will ask you to add this internet calendar to Outlook and subscribe to updates. That only means that you will subscribe to any update or any information moving forward from the Google Calendar. It will sync to your Outlook Calendar. So what we want to click is yes. Let's do that. Okay, and perfect. Now, as, as you can see, everything from my Google Calendar was imported here in the Outlook calendar. And that's all you need to do. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Hey, it's around here. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you got value from this. So this is my YouTube channel. And the video you just watched was recorded by my virtual assistant, who is part of my tech support membership. If you go to around.link forward slash DCT, you will learn more about how I support entrepreneurs with their online business by assisting them with their tech struggles and helping them turn technology and software tools into something that helps them grow their business instead of it being something which is a burden. So uh, my virtual assistant team is available to assist with my members and you can learn more about it by visiting the link of my membership. If you have any other tutorials specifically you would like to see from me or my VA team in my YouTube channel, please leave a comment below. I'd love for you to know what other tutorials will be helpful for you and we'll be uh, happy to record these to assist you. Thanks a lot. I'll speak to you soon.